What's going on everybody? It is Martina Maya. We are back at it again with another video. Today we've got a cigar. This is a Cohiba. This one, so Eric Tran, aka Smoke One if you have one, sent me this cigar. This cigar is $29.99. It is a Cohiba Riviera. Let me take it out for you guys and show you. Never even heard of this cigar, but Cohiba Riviera, it's got a cool little shape to it with a little closed nipple type of um, foot, so we'll see what it's all about, the Cohiba Riviera. Oh man, my shirt's dirty. Much better. Amaya Nice Designs is the official sponsor for the Martina Maya Once Famous channel. Swag is now available in shop. If you guys remember, we used to be back at it again. Well, now officially we are back at it again because, well, if you know the story, you know the story, so if you know, you know. Big shout out to Amaya Nice Designs. That is going to be the official sponsor for the uh, Martina Maya Once Famous YouTube channel. It doesn't stop with the Martina Maya YouTube channel uh, merch. Shop there for all of your latest swag. Back to the program. So I don't know much about this cigar, and um, I figured we'd just smoke it and get our first initial thoughts. So let's try it. So it does have that tapered foot, or whatever you call it, foot, and um, I don't know, we're just going to try it out and see what it's all about. Hmm. Okay. Right off the bat. Cold draw. Watered down star anise. Licorice. Hmm. Wrapper. Musty, musty sock. <laughs> smells like a musty sock. Yep, has a bit of a musty barnyardy type of smell to the body. And uh, yeah, since it does have a nipple type of foot, I figured I'm just gonna light it with a match. Few minutes later. Ah, there we go. <sighs> Spicy white pepper on the retro. A little bit of an earthy baking spice. Hmm. Earthy baking spice. With the sweetness that's starting to come through. Can't quite figure out what the sweetness is. But yeah. I am going to try to refresh my palate. Some of you may know Some of you may not know. Topo Chico is a mineral water and I like to drink it with my cigar reviews because it refreshes the palate. Very, very bubbly mineral water. Kind of resets the palate as you're smoking. <sighs> Alright, so let's try this again. And I just noticed, it's like a box press shape to the cigar. Mm. 
So I did get that licorice note on the cold draw, and I feel like it's still there, even on the light. A little bit of like a sweet, mm, sweet something, like a, almost like a fruity plum note. All right, so fruity plum note with a little bit of a licorice type of note, some white pepper on the retro. We're gonna keep smoking it down. We'll see what happens here on the first third. Don't you guys go anywhere. We will catch up in a minute. So, reading here on Half Wheel, it says that this is the first time that Cohiba has used a box press on their cigars. It also says this is the first time that they used a Mexican San Andres wrapper. So this cigar features a Mexican San Andres wrapper with Honduran binder and four different fillers. So it says the Hamastron Valley um, and La Entrada in Honduras. So two Honduran tobaccos in the filler and Nicaraguan tobaccos from Condega and Esteli. There are three different sizes of this cigar. The Riviera Robusto, which is a 5x52. That starts out at about $19.99 retail. There's a Toro, 6 by 52 And there's also a Perfecto, which is the one that I'm smoking here, uh, which is a 6x60. Um, but the 6x60 only goes up to about $23.99 retail. So, Tran, they overcharged your ass. <laughs> Whatever. So here we are. We're smoking this Cohiba Riviera. Not much. Not much has transitioned. I haven't gotten any transitions in the cigar. I'll say that. Let me move this a little closer to me, so you guys can hear me. So not a whole lot of transitions in the cigar so far. The spice is there. The spice is a little more prominent. Like it's it's starting to stick around here at the very top of the nose. On the retro. Kind of like mild out, kind of mild out a little bit. So it kind of feels like I'm not getting that um, plum note. So the sweetness is gone, but there's a little bit more of like a grassy note that's starting to come through. Really oily smoke. So it's leaving the mouth feeling like that's oily and your mouth is watering. And then there's a little bit of a, uh, as I was saying that the sweetness was going away, that sweetness is coming back. So it's like a really long finish. You take a draw of the cigar, you let it sit, the flavors develop in your mouth after about 30 to 45 seconds until your next draw. That was different. So on the retro, I was getting that white pepper spice and then all of a sudden, it's almost like I got a, it was like a weird fruity pebbles vitamin note. <laughs> Don't know how else to explain it. All right, good cigar. We're gonna go ahead and keep smoking it down. We'll see what happens here on the second third. Don't you guys go anywhere. We'll catch up in a minute. All right, um, the cigar strength is starting to pick up. Not too much to where, I guess for a beginner, it might be a little strong, but for me, I've been smoking cigars for, I don't know, 12 years. It's not that strong. But anyway, I'm gonna take that band off, show you guys. So the Cohiba Red Dot Riviera. Mexican San Andres wrapper. And I didn't know that when I first picked up the cigar, but I'm liking it. If you guys remember, if you watch my old channel, I was not a big fan of Mexican San Andres wrappers. But this one ain't bad. All right. 
Mm, a little bit of like a sour tart fruit note that I'm starting to get. Probably because I'm puffing on it a little bit too much. So I might need to chill the fuck out and let the cigar just kind of stay lit. A few moments later. Yeah, there's a fruit note in there. Kind of reminds me of a, like a cherry, like a black cherry. Hmm, black cherry. All right. Um, retro, still get a little bit of the white spice, but it's starting to calm down. Um, kind of making, kind of making the sides of my mouth hot, like it's burning hot. But yeah, I'm gonna keep smoking it down. I've got about another third to go, so we'll see what happens here on the final third. Don't you guys go anywhere, we'll catch up in a minute. This cigar has gotten like very tasteless. I don't know. It's like all the flavor I got was on the first third and second third. Here on the final third, there's not a lot of flavor coming out. All I'm getting is like a light, smoky, ashy note. little bit of spice in the retro a lot of spice in the retro <laughs> like it just like kicked in after it like settled um, more of like a red chili powder note here on the final third through the retro but the flavor on the draw just kind of tastes like an ashy ashy note I don't know overall $30 is what trend paid $23 is what it retails for. I don't think it's worth it. But it was a good cigar for the first and second third. Here on the final third, it's just meh. So I guess with that, we're going to go ahead and just end it here. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell so you know every time that I upload a new video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, Patreon. Support me on Patreon. Check out the sponsor. We'll catch you guys later.